So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this, this seat right off and put it to the side. This unit comes in red or blue. The Compass Sport's been out a while, but this is the redesign of it, so we're pretty excited about it. It's a true mid-wheel drive power wheelchair. First thing you're going to do is you're going to come into here and you're going to open the box. And it's going to be, this is going to be your charger. This is going to be a seat belt inside of here. It's pretty nice to have a little bag and you can do a couple different things. Hang this behind the headboard. Um, here's your charger. We'll show you that. And then you want to charge it when you first get it. It's good to charge it up overnight. Again, this is going to be just an unboxing. We will be doing a review video of it. So we're not going to go too much into it, just showing you what you would expect when this shows up to your house. This is the right arm. This also can be moved to the left side, so it can be interchangeable, right or left. That's your seat belt, and we'll show you how that comes on. So like I said, this is a true mid-wheel drive power chair. What that means is the, the drive wheels are going to be in the center, directly in the center, which is going to be a little bit more stable. Here's your Lynx controller. And so you're starting to see these on a lot of different units from different manufacturers. Basically, when you go from a hard terrain to a soft terrain, it recalibrates itself. So we'll go over that again. So if you're able to lift about 50, 60 pounds. You know, again, this isn't one that disassembles. You can go ahead and take these batteries straight out to reduce the weight take the shroud off at the beginning at the front or you can cut this and try to slide it right out but I'm going to do it this way because there's a little bit more steps and if you want to see this that's how you do it so two U1 batteries and we have Lithium phosphate batteries at these sides coming out if you do want a little bit more distance. These should get you plenty of mileage. You get up to 23 miles, 24 miles with those batteries. And I've already seen changes that they made that I'm excited about. Bigger foot plate, adjustable foot plate. So now we got it out, you're gonna put your batteries back in here. If you took the, if you left the batteries out and rolled it out the front, just make sure you still have to take those shrouds off just so you know and you gotta plug your batteries in most companies are going to send their units with the batteries unplugged which is going to be better for the batteries so they don't discharge i have seen that suppose we premiere units i'm not going to name names but they keep their batteries plugged up for long periods of time and by the time you get them they're bad so like I said I'm not gonna name names but they act like they're the best in the business the scooters are but the biggest issue with a lot of stuff is batteries so we're just gonna put this right back in there and push that down and then we'll come to the back and push this right back in there push it down so basically it's already put, it's all put together this seat height can be adjusted all right so we got this unboxed this is ready to go this can be changed to blue they do have a blue color so there's your headrest and all you're going to do is just take the plastic right off this is going to be your receiver for the back you are going to have to bolt this on if you're going to be using an oxygen tank holder some different things and here's your seat again this is the 18 by 18 there's four different types of seats you can change the depth of these seats and if you do want this if you're left-handed you can get the swivel part of it moved to the left just let us know we can order it that way or before we ship it out, we can change it over for you. There's your swivel. Can you just drop that right on. So see how flat it is? When we're putting lifts in cars, that's a cool feature, um, especially with a lot of compact cars. 
Looks like they made the seat better. It's a pretty nice seat compared to what it used to be. It used to be a hard seat. I didn't really like too much. So that's there. Back here, we will put the, we're getting little knobs for the arms. So this is going to be set up on a right hand. And you can change the depth of these seats too. So this is 18, I think you get the 20 inch depth. So you're going to put this on like so. These are flip up. You can move this a little bit and adjust the angle and a little bit of the height. And if you need a seat belt, the seat belt would go like this. And then you'll take these and then you can tighten it up and you can the width too so we're in a free will that's how i'm able to roll it because what we're going to do is get these arms on there and the joystick and then we're going to go ahead and put this thing on the charger and i'm going to point out a couple little things to wrap up the unboxing video that I think you'd like to know and why I really like the Compass Sport or true mid-wheel drive chairs. Now some chairs will be considered mid-wheel drive but they're kind of towards the front of the unit. You see this? I'll show you the purpose for that. That can also be moved over here if you're going to be left-handed. So the joystick is just going to go right here. Loosen this out a little bit. Put it right this and then come back down here where you see this cord you're going to come up through here through here and this holds the cord in and then this will hold the cord on the side now you can go ahead if you want and move this out a little bit because this is going to need to plug up into this spot there's only way, one, way, one way to do it. So get that on a little bit, slide it back. And you're just gonna plug it right in. And you should hear it click when it's in. Now this can be moved in and out. So if you're gonna be moving this up and down, you might wanna not put it there you might want to just come up through here and not use that just so you know if you're gonna be moving these arms up and down because it will pull from this or if you bring this all the way back you should be fine and then you can if you have a zip tie you can zip tie it then that should be able to come back in up it's optional if you want to use that clip it's just gonna there's not much room for this to come up and down so but it does keep this in better um, but you can figure out where that cord needs to go depending on the person what they're using um, we'll turn this on real quick this is going to flash at you the reason why it's flashing this gives you the tells you what's wrong with it or this can be scrolling because we're in a free will now it's going to be a little bit harder to push but it can so you turn that off and then you have your free wills this locks the unit so it won't move and then when you turn this on it should be ready to go but again, and this is your speed. Um, slower is usually towards the red, faster is towards the green. There's your battery indicator. But give that a good full charge before you operate it. This bar that I was speaking to you about, it will go right back here. So you can, you can roll that out. This is just the cap protector you got to pop that out use some flathead screwdriver because you don't want to break your nails if you try to pull it out but I usually will back this out a little bit or you don't have to do this but you just take this loosen this and this will go like so and then you'll have a little wrench you would hold that and then that's your receiver port so we'll put this on tomorrow this takes a little bit of time not too much time but 
more time than we want to take in this unboxing. Here's a little chart pocket back here. They call it a chart pocket. I'm just going to stick that right back in there. This is a demo unit, so it's not going out. So we're just going to set it up how we want it. Oh, flags. Golden sends out flags. You don't have to pay for them. There's a little pocket right here that these can be put into it. Now this is high. If you see how high this would be, you can remove these off and make it a little bit lower if you need to. And then you have the headrest. The headrest can go like this, but before you put that headrest on, if you like, you can take your, you can also you can Velcro this off. Um, you can take that little charger case that comes with it from Golden and you can put your charger in here and then there's some instructions about the charger and different things you need to know about the charger charging it on this one now these joysticks will have charging ports up here but this one's gonna be on the side so once you plug that in and this is plugged in this cord is plugged in you'll take this and plug it into an outlet let me do it real quick you charge it up each night this light would be green when it's on this is what it looks like when the charger's on when you plug it in they'll say plug it into here and then into the wall and make sure you tighten these up every so often tighten that up this will be charged Char green will be something's plugged in this will be red when it's charging when this is green and this is green that means it's fully charged so the next I'm standing on this about 200 pounds it's not tipping forward so why is that important couple reasons if you're going down a steep ramp front wheel drives tend to step forward if you're going up a steep ramp and you have back wheel drive you can tip backwards this is better for inside the house 